Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Elias, and welcome back to Sky Factory 3. In the last episode, we were working on, one, finishing up this, which, oof, I should probably turn this off. Um, I may have left this on a little longer than I anticipated, but um, finishing up the seed factory, getting a whole bunch of essence, and we were also working on Draconic Evolution, which I'm currently getting... Uh, oof. do we have the power to do this? Yeah, it's just taking a while to get there. Um, the, I'm currently trying to get the uh, more fusion crafting stuff up. We've got three of these guys done already. Um, but the problem we are running into is uh, we are also doing some just random uh, random automations and whatnot things to kind of make my life a little bit easier. Uh, so we were also kind of working on trying to fix the uh, wither spawner. So between episodes, I did add a double crusher to our lineup of toys and uh, just trying to work on getting a couple of things here and there. Are we having any frame rate? Eh, a little bit, and it's probably because of all this stuff, all these seeds, all this essence. Oh well, um, anyways. I am going to bite the bullet and fix the wither spawner. Uh, it is not that hard to fix. I just decided not to. So there's there's been the problem of every time we try to spawn a wither in, uh, the skulls don't necessarily get placed after the soul sand. That is such an easy thing to fix, and I just have not bothered to do it. Uh, so the way we do it is we will make a... Uh, we just need to delay a signal. And that's not the easiest thing for me. I'm not the best at redstone, I will be honest. But we're going to make a... Oh, we actually need some stone. Let's get a stack of stone cooking up. And then we're also going to need a clock. Um, but all we need to do is get a timer. And then delay that signal a little bit. And that will give us uh, just enough stuff to kind of make this. Now, we could have spawned the wither in like three other ways. Um, we could have used integrated dynamics, uh, we could have used open computers, all of those have methods of kind of like detecting blocks and seeing where things are. Uh, none of my easy little cop out ways I was trying to do was going to work, so we're just going to make the timer and go for it. We could use a sequencer, but that won't work quite the way I want it to, so uh, we'll deal with this. So we're going to get a couple of redstone repeaters and... I just want to make sure this works, so if we have this guy, uh, we'll set it as every 10 seconds. And for whatever reason, hitting zero on my numpad never works for this. But what we can do is we just set this up like so. Uh, we get a couple of repeaters. We'll delay them. And basically we have two signals. So this needs to be a strong signal. It doesn't really matter right now, but uh, let's get some lamps or something so you can guys can see what this is all about. Hey, we do have some red, redstone lamps. So basically put that there put that there. Uh, ideally, that flashes and then that flashes later. And it's a little bit of a longer pulse, but that should not matter. Um, but that's the basic idea. Uh, so today we would normally plan on working with, also it's going to be super quiet here because of our sound muffler. Uh, today we were going to work on draconic evolution, but we need a bunch of draconium. Uh, and so much so that it's going to be smarter to kind of work on that instead. So let's get this finished up so we can make more wyvern cores and all that kind of stuff. But what we'll do is we'll set this up, strong signal in out, and this will be on black, just like we have uh, done before. And these guys are all, I went ahead and set them all to uh, pulse mode. And then these guys will all be on brown. 
and we just have this setting over here. So again, in out brown strong signal. Oops. Uh, make sure you switch to the redstone stuff first, just to make this easy. Uh, brown strong signal, and finally, there we go. Uh, and we just take this over here. So the timer will be set up, and then we'll have. Actually, let's put this over here. So we're going to put two repeaters and like a timer like so, and then the redstone conduit. So will this actually work? Yeah, it should. So first of all, these things are going to be disabled. We're going to delay this by like so. Uh, let's get... 200 every 10 seconds and this will be on brown strong signal this will be brown strong signal for the delay and then this one will be on black strong signal to actually delay that all the way so theoretically this will work uh, if we remove this for a second, then we should be able to try to grab a uh, nether star. So let's craft one. And so that'll send the skulls and the soul sand over here. So these guys should have all that. And if we place this down, set this to 200 ticks. We'll see in just a few seconds if it works. Uh, if it doesn't, we just add more delay. And that's the only problem that I'm having. Okay, so that did not work. That needs more delay. Unfortunately, hmm. This is the problem I was having of trying to get more delay in this is not the easiest. Uh, I wasn't finding many things that could give us a lot of delay. So we might just have to go with vanilla style stuff and get more repeaters. In which case, it's just a matter of making a little bit of a... Uh, making a little bit of a circuit. So um, we're going to pick all these guys up. We're going to put one of these in each. And let's get some more repeaters. Uh, it's just the middle two. So yeah, that should work. Uh, at least I think we want a strong signal. I actually, oh no, I messed up. Um... You know, that's fine. We can just set them all on here. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can't come over here with the magnet on at all. Or else bad things happen. Okay, anything else? Yeah, there's a lot of seeds. Is this full of seeds? No, that's full of essence. Um, something I didn't fully anticipate. Oh no, we're probably full on some of this stuff. So let's sort it. Uh, or else we need to get some speed upgrades. That is also a potential. Uh, let's get rid of the... Uh... Extract, yeah, let's get some... Uh... Let's get some speed upgrades. Okay, so... Conduit speed upgrades, we need that. Um... 
Let's get some pistons. Actually, let's get like 20 pistons. That'll be fine. We just need two more. 15 is the max. That will transfer a stack at a time, uh, which is as fast as it goes. Um, it pulls out the same speed, but it just pulls out more often, uh, or like more items every time. So that should help clean this up. And then unfortunately, I think we have a facade somewhere. Um, I don't know. That's a little concerning. Oh, there it is. Okay. I don't know what it's doing over there, but whatever. So that should be fixed. Um, there is the concern not everything has void upgrades, only the uh, Inferno does. And we're not even using that anymore, so, uh,. Yeah, there is the concern that this stuff will eventually fill up, but we'll we'll deal with it. All right, so let's grab some more delays. You know, what, let's grab a Yetta wrench because I want to try something else. But we'll see. So let's get a couple more repeaters. Let's get like that many. That should be enough. And we'll see if this works. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a wrench and remove uh, these connections uh, for sake of balance. We'll remove those, and then these will come down here. And we'll, we'll work on it like so. We'll just remove that. Put that there, remove that. And I guess we'll move the torch to like here and here. That'll be fine. All right, so we're going to put the repeaters here we're gonna set them to max tick delay and this is gonna be a strong signal on black and then we put the timer way back here and then that will get this will get uh, input on brown, strong signal. Let's set this to 200 ticks. And then we can set this to brown, strong signal and see if that works. So what should happen is only the bottom, no. So they're all getting activated. Why are they all getting activated? That should not be happening. Hmm. I wonder if we need to turn strong signal off. Maybe that will fix it. Uh, let's grab all this stuff and if the uh, yeah if the soul sand shows up, it's not that big of a deal. Let's put the sides in first. Um, that soul sand didn't actually place. All right, let's break that and that line. This is weird. Um, I'm gonna finagle with this more as we go, but break that. I'm gonna go ahead and put the soul sand back and this one and this one will be kind of the test. So, time rating, two seconds, we're gonna wait. 
and see if this works because maybe what it is is it's being transferred um, so I'm gonna continue messing with this yeah because it activated the entire thing hmm I kind of want to watch this line That's really weird. That is really weird. Anyways, let's just go ahead and make the, the wither. Um, Uh-oh. Um, it's gonna hurt. Okay, <laughs> we're fine. <laughs> that was embarrassing. Okay. So let's turn this off. Hey, we got a birthday cake. Uh, anyway, so what are we going to do today? <laughs> this is taking too much time. Uh, I will figure out the rest of this later. Um, for right now, I believe you can give this a redstone signal and turn it off. Uh, let's make sure that's true. So can we get a lever? Uh, can we get a stick? That we can do. put that in there and the, the system should be happy okay so I'm going to go ahead and make more uh, of the the stuff later but okay that does turn it off good um, I have a feeling what the problem is is that the redstone is getting activated um, diagonally so like this it's powering these blocks so I wonder if this will work without strong signal. Let's test that real quick. And then uh, there is also the chance that uh, and then these don't get strong signal either. Uh, there's also the chance that there is going to be a problem of, uh, you know, there, there's the off chance that when we insert items, uh, it's going to it's going to like be on this delay. So we don't want this delay to be too long. Let's spit it up just a little bit and see if this works. So let's get another nether star. And if this doesn't work, I will fix it later. Um, but once we have everything in place, okay. Let's activate this. And theoretically, ah, cool, so that works. Um, we didn't need any faster timers or anything like that, but that worked just fine, cool. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll probably make this a little bit longer. Um, instead of 200 ticks, let's do like 400 ticks. Uh, that is, what, 20 seconds. Uh, we don't need to have the wither spawning constantly. So that should be fine. Uh, and then what we're going to do for the rest of the episode, since there's not much more, uh, we're going to deal with some stuff. Um, descriptive, I know. Uh, so what we want to do, actually I want to grab that draconic tablet. We have a lot of draconium, but we don't have that much. We're going to need a lot more. And if we want to get a lot of draconium, we're going to need to, well, collect it. Now... I don't know that Draconium, we're going to need two of those, I believe, for these things. Uh, I don't believe that there's a dimlet for Draconium blocks. Um, we can't tell from that. We can look into here. Uh, draconium. So the only thing we can do is Draconium ore which we can collect a bunch, a bunch of that. I may have already processed a bunch of it, um, so we don't have much left, but uh, what we can do, we can do a couple of things. We can, we need to work towards getting more uh, dimension stuff, and there's a couple things in this that we can go ahead and do already. Um, build a dimension, travel to it, and stay in for at least 10 minutes. Uh, but let's see what all we can get. Do we have any, uh, can we get an absorber? 
feature absorber. Yes. So we're going to want one of those. Uh, terrain, no. I want a feature absorber. We just need to make a machine frame, which is pretty easy. And this is going to be super duper important to make various things. So this dimension we kept for some reason. Uh, let's grab, before I jump into the great unknown, uh, let's grab our teleporter. And what dimension is that? Dimension ID number two, U. Dial once. Okay. So if we go through, what will we find? I feel like there was something here, or maybe this is just void. I don't remember. This one is just void. So let's go home. And I need to cycle through these and try to find some that are actually useful. But I felt like we had one that was. So this one. So this is dimension ID number eight. And then we also have dragons. So we can go to, go to the dragon dimlet and kill dragons and collect the goodies of more dragon hearts. No. Okay, so I was mistaken. So we're gonna need to do more dimension stuff. Uh, I'm gonna need to cycle through more to get to a dimension that's actually useful. Did the dragon dimension have something? This does require a good bit of power. But it's slowly ticking up. So style once. This one's gonna be a little bit more dangerous. Let's get our bow. But we can kill dragons pretty easily, to be honest. Yeah, this has tendrils. Um, and lag. Let's get away from... Get away from the platform. Okay, they didn't destroy it. Yeah, unfortunately... Some problems here. I feel like I brought something in here already. Uh, what hip, what happens if I hit journey map? Um, do we have any waypoints? No. But I love some of these orbs. Are these solid orbs? No, these are liquid orbs. Uh, these are small liquid orbs, but they are liquid orbs. And there is a lot of stuff here. So we have some, it looks like wood, tendrils, is that sandstone? What is this? Cob oh, it's a chiseled cobblestone. No, those are wood planks. There's mushrooms here. All right, so if we put this down, unknown feature, it's gonna absorb and it's gonna take a little bit of time. Um, time in a bottle? No. Uh-oh. We're going to have to kind of keep the dragons away. But if I make a uh, waypoint here, uh, we'll call it a Zorber. We'll just kind of... Uh, Stay somewhere else and fight the dragons as needed. Um, now there is a bunch of stuff we can get. Uh, this is prosperity ore. Yeah. Um, there's diamond ores. There's these houses. There's uh, dimensional shard ore, which is very useful. And like all in all, we can just kind of hang out here if we want. Uh, what is this? Another rack or brick another rack what's in it uh, it looks like water okay so yeah there is a lot of stuff here that we can kind of play around with while we wait for the absorber to do his job 
Um, I had just seen a, there it is. It's like, I just saw a thing. Have we explored this one? Doesn't look like it. So this could have some goodies in here. Or it could not. Uh, looks like mostly not. But let's head back to the absorber and just see how how much it's done so far. Um, probably not that much. Also, it is super laggy in here. So I might not want to try to get this stuff. 31%. That's not too bad, actually. So I'll tell you guys what. Let me take a little bit of a break here. Uh, and I'm going to basically just kind of wait around in this dimension until we get what we want. Um, that is going to be an achievement as well. Uh, we need to spend at least 10 minutes in a dimension. Um, I'm going to go ahead and mark that off because it's probably going to take me more than 10 minutes to do this. Um, but I'm just going to hang out uh, relatively close but not too close to the absorber and see what we get. Uh, and probably also look at like ores and stuff. Uh, anything I want to do. I can also kill some of these dragons. Might not be a bad idea. They like to spawn really low. Um, so I'm going to just kind of ha hang out in here for a little bit and we'll come back once the absorber is ready. So I'll be right back. Alright, that actually did not take too long. So let's grab it real quick. I think I saw what it was. Yeah, tendrils, which is perfect. That's something we want. So we have tendrils. It's absorbed 100%. And if we want more stuff, we can get the, the small orbs here, the uh, liquid orbs. Uh, those are just the normal size ones. We do need to find one that has the giant liquid orbs, um, but that's not a big deal. Anyways, let's go home. And what we can do is, once we're ready to... Ooh, I'm still flying. Um, I got a zombie head for some reason. Uh, so what we can do is we can actually make a feature absorber. We can make the, uh, how would you do this, uh, tendrils. We need one of these. Um, this is a rarity zero, so that's nice and easy. Uh, which means we just need the basic memory and basic power which we have so many of those. And tendrils. Oh, that is the regular memory. We need the basic memories. Which, again, like, we have all that stuff. So, uh, I went ahead and organized this a little bit. We have some sky stuff. I don't care about that. But the important thing is we now have the feature tendrils. So um, all that work, and now we can make any. We can make things that have tendrils in them. Uh, all that means is that we're gonna be able to once we have whatever like type of dimlet we want we can make something out of it. So, uh, we can actually get the, for instance, if we get Draconium Ore, we can make uh, a Dimlet that has Draconium Ore with, and Tendrils. So, that's all that that is. Um, kind of easy to do, but a little bit annoying in that world specifically. So, uh, what we're going to do, you know, I don't know that I actually spent 10 minutes, so we're going to unmark that one. It did not take that long. Um, so what we're going to do now is we need we need a lot of stuff. Um, now, if I get another absorber, we could make a material absorber. We'll probably need one of these. And we're going to want draconium ore. Now, this is kind of annoying, but we can automate it uh, with like a block placer. But uh, we'll just put it right over here. So this guy will. Uh, how does these work again? Um, place this oh on top of another block. So 
this goes here and it sucks it up. Now, unfortunately, I put five in, we're at 4%. So that's gonna require a lot of stuff. But what we can do is pretty simple. Um, let's get a block placer. Uh, just doesn't matter what kind. Let's get a, just a, uh, I believe, let's just do placer. Uh, I believe, yeah, auto placer. These things are probably gonna be the easiest because that will automatically place whatever we put into it. Um, and then we just need like a hopper or something. Or even better, just a conduit. And a chest. And we can just put this down here. No big deal. Uh, this is on deactivation mode, so... In other words, uh, all we have to do is place stuff in it and it will, it'll work. Uh, I was gonna put this on top, but whatever. Just put it right here. So extract, always active. So all we need to do now is get a bunch of draconium ore. And the easiest way to do that is, well, void ore mining. Uh, with a purple lens, what color lens are we currently using? We have a clear lens, so let's break this. And something else we'll probably want to end up doing relatively soon. In fact, let's go ahead and do that right now. Uh, we have the assembler. We're gonna break this down um, completely. Can we get void or minor tier four? Uh, that requires mica. Do we have a little bit of mica? We do. Okay. So theoretically, we can we can make this. Um, I think we can just vein mine this stuff. Uh, hopefully. Oh wait, there's glass here. Um, I forgot. It's a good thing there's glass there. So this is gonna require a lot more power, but that's okay. Uh, but more importantly, we can get a lot of stuff out of this. So uh, what we're gonna need is void or, oh, okay. Let's, let's just teach the system how to make these because it's gonna be easier in the long run. Uh, so void or miner. Uh, do we know how to make clear lens? No. Do we know how to make clear glass? Do we know how to make lenses? No. All right, easy enough. So we make a lens. We make a laser cord. Do we know how to make those? Nope. And then clear lens. All right, all of that should be easy enough. So that's the tier ones. The tier twos require that. And then the tier threes do require stabilized interpearls. Do we know how to make those? Nope. So stabilized interpearls are, I believe, just interpearls around a block of iron. It's all pretty straightforward. And We'll leave it at that. So we just need two tier threes. Uh, tier three. And it's missing blocks of quartz. I can teach the system how to make that. That's easy enough. And that's something we'll probably want to teach the system anyways. So quartz. Uh, that's mica block of quartz. And that can go in there. Okay. Uh, I also need to remember to throw in the, uh, the stuff I currently have. 
except for this these two so um void or minor tier three we need two of these and then how many nether stars do we currently have we have two we're gonna need two more so time to see if this works well enough and here is here's hoping you know let's actually do it the other way around hey that worked perfectly and then that should be fine so that'll give us the two nether stars um and then we're gonna need a lot of other things where is uh, is it still in here? New. What is it called? Um, this thing. Digital guide. So in order to make a tier 4 void ore miner, uh, it requires 56 structure blocks tier 4. Structure blocks tier 4. It required how many? 50... 50 bunch, 56. That is a lot of, that's a lot of nether stars. We're missing a lot of nether stars for this. Okay, so in order to get the Dragonium, we're gonna need more nether stars. And to get that, we're gonna need more other stuff. All right, here's what we're gonna do. I have a plan, I, I have a good plan. Um, we'll let the other stuff kind of work on itself for a little bit let's go ahead and get some more stuff going uh, so we're gonna need two like so uh, and we're gonna pop down here and we should be able to get this to the point where we don't need any more uh, any more stuff we're gonna get two more draconic fusions. Break this, put that in there. Uh, these are really short crafts, so it's not that big of a deal. But what we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna work towards the void ore miner. That is something I'd like to get. Um, but let's go ahead and get some draconic tools. Um, specifically the draconic sword. That requires two ingots plus a waking core plus ugh, we're gonna need another dragon heart probably uh, actually no we have more than enough stuff um, are we good are we doing good for power no we are not um, okay there's the problem uh, so oh because you're probably still yep I forgot that in there and it's still draining power so now we should start getting a little bit more power. Um, this down here should be at least a little bit faster. Charging 11%, maybe not. And of course now it's raining and I can't sleep. Oh my gosh, everything, everything at the same time. Uh, okay, so what we're gonna need to do, we're gonna need to get power, we're gonna get some Draconic stuff. Can we get at least this Order of the Wyvern? We could make that. We could physically make that. So let's do that. Um, we're going to need Wyvern Energy Core. We need one of each. And then we should be able to make that if we have a Diamond Sword. And this will be good enough for now. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to get a sword of a wyvern. Now this is a really good sword, but what's really good about it, other than the fact that we can charge it up, uh, is we can get some enchantments. One specifically known as Reaper. Now I don't believe we can easily get it, but let's see. Reaper 5 is what we want. Disenchanter. Uh, do we have anything with Reaper on it? 
I don't think we do. So it would be a sword, not a bow, not anything else. So yeah, we don't have anything with Reaper on it. Now, what we can do is just try to enchant. Um, enchant books. We have some, we have a Reaper one. I don't know why it didn't show up. We have a sharpness four, that will keep as well. Okay, so we have a Reaper one. How many levels do we have in here? How many experience things do we have in here? We have a lot. We also can get a lot of experience pretty easily. So let's just eat a bunch of these and get up to level uh, enchanting table. We'll have to get our enchanting table out. Uh, do we have any good ways to get an enchanter? That's not the... No. Uh, okay. So we just need a couple pylons. Let's get two mana pylons. Yeah, let's just get two mana pylons. I think that is enough to do what I want to do, which is pretty simple actually. So we get those, come over here, two mana pylons. We're just gonna put this right over here for right now, next to the enchantment table, and this would give us Level 8. Uh, maybe it has to be here. Level 30. There we go. So now we can start enchanting. Let's grab a bunch of lapis. And um, what we're looking for is Reaper. Um, preferably Reaper 5. But anything will work. Let's get to like 37. Just eat this entire stack. Okay, so we have a book. Uh, I don't want protection three, so we're just going to take protection one. And XP boost. Take sharpness. Smite. Smite four isn't bad, but we'll just take smite one. And we're just going to take whatever is the lowest, unless we have access to really good things. Specifically, Reaper. Power 4. That is also pretty nice. But I think we can get power stuff a little bit easier. Sharpness, protection. So not having too much luck. Ooh, Reaper 4. Um, actually, I think that'll work. Let's try something. I actually don't know. This wasn't that expensive to make, so we're going to try something weird. We're going to put this in here and get Reaper 4. Banner Arthropods. Now, we should be able to, um, for one, this has a little bit of power. So let's charge this up just a little bit. Um, and one, can we sleep? I think we should be able to. We're going to use the disenchantment table. Uh, and what that should allow us to do, we put the books there. We can get, ah, uh, it takes levels. Okay. We can get. the Reaper 4 book. And then what we can do is we'll live with Reaper 4 for now. But we could just continuously enchant this thing. Um, and that would work just fine. But what we actually want to do is we want to hit C, V? Uh-oh. I need to look at what the uh, control is. Also, I didn't realize Master Volume was so low. 
Apologies. Um, what is the button for the menu? I can never remember it. Um, can we put it to... Show conflicts. What's also using T? Is it chat? Change modes? We'll just do that. Okay, so open this and we can... Wait, did they change that? Uh, we can change the attack radius, but not really. Um, I guess we can put this back on there. I thought we could, maybe that's not available anymore. Uh, the draconic thing is in here. I realized, and that was not, not nice. Um, wyvern tools, configurable stuff. Um, maybe it's the draconic tools. I don't know. Um, it used to be that you could put different enchantments on these. Uh, but I guess... Let's see, let's see if there's anything... Let's go ahead and see if we can't make the Draconic Sword. Uh, I don't believe making the Wyvern Sword was any importance. No. I don't even know if making the Draconic Sword is important either. But we can put that there. Take that off. Charge this up real quick. Um, should be a lot, a lot quicker. Uh, let's put these guys down here. Okay. Because if we could, I would put both these enchantments on there. But let's go ahead and make the Draconic Sword if we can. And then call it an episode. So uh, what we're going to want to do with this Reaper is go kill things. Uh, what Reaper allows us to do is to kill mobs and potentially get... So we need to waken Draconium. We're going to need two for that. Uh, and potentially get souls. Um, we're going to need two for five for that. And we're going to need one, two, three, four wyvern cores plus a nether star. So wyvern, make those. And then for this guy, we're going to need another wyvern core plus four of those plus four of these. So that's not too bad. But we do need another Wyvern Core. And we can go ahead and make that. So we have the Draconic Core. This should be done. And it is. And this stuff, actually, can we even do this? Because these require, okay, those require Wyvern Tier. So. Get rid of all that stuff. One, two, three. Uh, we need one more. That takes five, nine items. We have eight. All right, so we need another wyvern. That is kind of annoying. Um, maybe we won't make this. Anyways, let's... Hmm. I guess let's do it, because um, we do have, don't we have a fusion, yeah, we have a basic one, so we want to use this, requires four diamonds, uh, one, two, three, four, why is that like flickering?
Cancel all. Um, we'll try making it again. Anyways, uh, we need four diamonds. We need uh, draconium block. We're going to need two draconium cores, I thought. And uh, one wyvern core. So we're going to need yet another wyvern core. But we tell this to make it, and it'll be fine. We can make the other one while we're waiting. So, four diamonds. Uh, I'm lost. <laughs> four diamonds. One, two, three. Four. One of these. Uh, one of those. One of those. And then two draconic cores. And we should be able to do this. Uh, what's the other? Do we have the other core? What are you doing? Okay, it's processing stuff. Did I? Okay, it's going to take a little bit longer. So let's go ahead and get this going. And that shouldn't take too long. Uh, we're going to need another energy conduit. Uh, and then, like I said, the big thing with this is I want to see if uh, we can... So it used to be... I don't know if it still is. This is a different version of Draconic Evolution than I'm used to. Um, but it used to be that like you could equip things to the, uh, the, the armor and the swords and stuff. Um, you didn't have to fully enchant them. So, looks like that's changed. Alright, so Nether Star, two, three, uh, and then four. So, we need the Awakened Core. That's what we're trying to make. Uh, no, Nether Star goes in here. And there's five Draconium. So it's a little bit more expensive than it used to be. But all we need now is the other core. And we should be able to do this now. And making the, the uh, Draconic Sword is kind of cool. Uh, it's kind of important. So this is how expensive? 9 million RF. That's not awful. Um, we're also charging pretty quickly. So that's kind of nice. Tells me that this is getting full again. And then to make this... Oh, it's really cheap. So once we have the Awakened Core, uh, we'll be good to go. So there is no <laughs> Draconic uh, Sword because, honestly, that's not really that important. Um, but technically, we have a Draconic Level Fusion. Um, we're going to get all of them upgraded to that point, but for right now, it's fine as is. Um, these have to go on the Draconics, and we can make it. Um, so the the swords have different powers, um, and it doesn't look like they're very strong. Uh, they've changed a lot of things with these swords. Um, now there's this whole upgrade system and all that kind of stuff, which isn't bad, but let's see. Nope. We can just change the attack radius. Uh, so we're going to have to enchant these the old-fashioned way. Which is fine by me. Uh, we'll take the enchantments off later. But we'll get sharpness. And we'll get uh, reaper. Let's go ahead and charge it up. And then... We can add a whole bunch of different things to it later. If we so choose. But what we're going to do is head to the nether and kill a bunch of stuff. Um, so the things I want to kill is wither skeletons and blazes, uh, but mostly the wither skeletons. Uh, so the whole purpose of this is to try to get a, uh, a soul. 
And that's what I'd like. Ideally. Um, now these are pretty powerful. But we just come over here. And kill things. We got a skull already. Um, but you kind of get the idea. I'm going to just kind of hang out here for a, bi for a bit. Try to kill some skeletons. We're definitely going to want to upgrade this. Um, and upgrades are a little bit different to do. But we'll get a bunch of stuff from it. And actually we'll probably upgrade it next time. And go from there. So we're going to need a bunch of weather skeleton skulls. Our essence farm just isn't quite powerful enough. Uh, to keep up with the demand, and it's really laggy. It's really cool. Don't get me wrong. I'm happy that we built it. We're probably not going to use it that much. I need to finish building it, but that that's another thing. Um, so, yeah, the plan is this. We're going to upgrade this sword, and to do that, we're going to get upgrades. Um, Draconic Evolution has a whole bunch. There's upgrade keys, and we can make a bunch of these. So, um kind of cool we just do a bunch of different levels and whatnot i'll kind of look into that and how to work with that but uh that'll be the plan for next time um i want to get some wither soul wither skeleton souls so we can start farming wither skeletons and we're going to do some really cool things with that as well so uh real quick is that in the... um hmm, i'll have to look into something but uh, i want to see if there's a way to duplicate these books um we'll see but if there is that's awesome if not oh well anyways that's gonna be it for today i hope you guys enjoyed this episode um a little bit sporadic but nah is what it is anyways next time we are going to focus more on draconic evolution trying to get more sword stuff and probably the bows and just all the tools so that we can and go from there so i hope you guys enjoyed this and i will see you guys in the next episode bye